Greetings, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today we're diving into a hot topic that's been making headlines around the globe. We're talking about the controversy surrounding Kate Middleton's alleged cancer diagnosis and the defence mounted by Roy Anika. The allegations and subsequent defence have stirred the pot, sparking a fierce debate and catapulting the issue into the global spotlight. Questions are being asked, theories are being spun, and the truth seems murkier than ever. As we navigate through this controversy, we aim to present you with the facts, the opinions, and the unfolding narrative. The story has taken many twists and turns, with each new revelation adding another layer to the intrigue. So buckle up, because we're about to unravel the controversy that has everyone talking. Stick around as we delve deeper into the controversy that has everyone talking. Kate Middleton recently found herself in the centre of a storm. A storm that questions the very essence of her character, the authenticity of her struggles and the veracity of her narrative. The Duchess of Cambridge has been accused of a lie that's as staggering as it is controversial. The allegation? That Kate Middleton lied about having cancer. In the heart of this whirlwind, there's a resurfaced report that suggests a different story. A story that speaks not of cancer, but of pre-cancerous cells. This, paired with a doctored photo, has thrown a shadow of doubt over the Duchess's claims. Did she actually have cancer, or was it a case of miscommunication, a misunderstanding, or, as some suggest, a willful deception? The stakes are high. If the allegations are true, it means that Kate Middleton used a devastating disease as a tool for sympathy. It suggests that she manipulated the emotions of millions around the world. Controversy is as complex as it is sensitive. The question remains. Did she or did she not have cancer? The world watches and waits as the truth unfolds. Enter Roya Nika, a royal reporter who has come to Kate's defence. Let's delve into the heart of this matter. Roya Nika, renowned for her royal reportage, has taken it upon herself to defend Kate Middleton. Nika presents Kate as a beacon of resilience, a woman who has risen from the ashes of a devastating disease. She paints an image of a brave survivor, advising others on the trials and tribulations of cancer. Look closer, though, and you'll find this defence is riddled with inconsistencies. Nika's portrayal hinges on the belief that Kate had cancer, a claim that's been called into question. If Kate didn't have cancer, how can she guide others through it? It's akin to a sailor offering advice on traversing the desert. The situation simply doesn't add up. Moreover, Nika's defence seems to conveniently overlook the controversy surrounding Kate's diagnosis. Remember that Kate originally claimed to have pre-cancerous cells, a far cry from a full-blown cancer diagnosis. Nika's narrative seems to disregard this crucial detail, creating a disconnect from the actual unfolding of events. And let's not forget the timing of this defence. It comes at a time when Kate's cancer story is under intense scrutiny, with allegations of fakery swirling around. It begs the question, is Nika's defence an earnest attempt to uphold the truth or a desperate bid to shift the narrative? Nika's defence of Kate also raises questions about her own credibility. As a royal reporter, her role is to present an unbiased view of the royal family's life. But by taking a stance in this controversy, she might be perceived as being partial, which could potentially undermine her reputation. But does her defence hold up under scrutiny? Well, when you peel back the layers of her argument and examine the facts, it seems Roya Nika's defence of Kate Middleton is as shaky as a house of cards. The palace, caught in the crossfire, attempts a media clean-up. As the controversy surrounding Kate Middleton's cancer diagnosis unravelled, the palace found itself in a precarious position. The allegations of fakery and misinformation necessitated swift action. A desperate attempt to regain control of the narrative that had spiralled into a web of conspiracy theories and public scepticism. The palace, traditionally a beacon of stability and decorum, was suddenly thrust into a world of damage control. Its response was to embark on a media clean-up, a strategic endeavour to rectify the miscommunication and restore faith in the royal institution. This wasn't merely about clearing Kate's name, but about preserving the integrity of the monarchy itself. However, the palace's efforts were met with criticism. Accusations of inadequate communication and poor handling of the situation were rife. Journalists too found themselves in the line of fire. Their role in spreading misinformation and stirring the pot of controversy was under scrutiny. The backlash was fierce, 
a stark reminder of the power of the media and the ramifications of irresponsible reporting. Despite the palace's best efforts, the media cleanup seemed to do little to placate the situation. Questions remained unanswered, doubts lingered, and public faith wavered. The controversy had taken on a life of its own, a beast that refused to be tamed by carefully crafted press releases and meticulously worded statements. Yet, the controversy continues to rage on. The palace's media cleanup, in its intent, seems to have fallen short in its execution. As we watch this royal drama unfold, one thing is clear. The truth, whatever it may be, has a way of revealing itself. And when it does, it will be the ultimate judge in this saga of royal controversy. In the court of public opinion, verdicts are swift and often unforgiving. This statement couldn't be truer as we delve into the public perception of Kate Middleton and the royal family in the wake of this controversy. The impact of Kate's alleged lie about her cancer diagnosis has sent ripples through society, sparking conversations and debates on social media platforms and beyond. The court of public opinion is divided. On one side, we have those who laud Kate's openness and her decision to share her journey. They view this as a brave and noble act, a testament to her strength and resilience. They see it as a reflection of the changing approach to royal communication in the age of social media, where direct communication is becoming the norm. Then on the other side, we have those who are critical of Kate and the royal family. They question the motives behind sharing such a personal journey with the public. They view it as a manipulative ploy to seek sympathy and control the narrative. This group feels that this controversy highlights an issue of trust and credibility, raising questions about the authenticity of the royal family's public image. This divide in public perception is not just about Kate Middleton, but it extends to the royal family and the monarchy itself. It's about the role of the monarchy in modern society and how it navigates the age of social media and direct communication. It's about the balance between public and private life and the thin line between sharing and oversharing. The debate rages on, with the public dissecting every detail, every statement, and every action. The royal family is under the microscope, with their every move scrutinised and interpreted in various ways. This controversy has certainly stirred the pot, and it's clear that it has left an indelible mark on the public perception of the royal family. So here's the million dollar question. Will this controversy change the future of the monarchy? Only time will tell. As we conclude, it's clear this controversy is far from over. We've unravelled a series of events that have sparked debate internationally, from the alleged lie of Kate Middleton's cancer diagnosis to the defence presented by Roy Anika. We've also delved into the media cleanup orchestrated by the palace and the significant impact these events have had on public perception. In the midst of these controversies, one thing remains certain. The power of social media in shaping narratives and influencing opinions. It's essential, now more than ever, to critically evaluate information and seek out facts. This story serves as a stark reminder of the importance of transparency, particularly when it pertains to figures of public interest. While we have discussed the events as they unfolded, we encourage you to form your own opinions based on the facts presented. After all, the world of royal watching isn't just about the glitz and glamour. It's also about scrutinising the narratives that are often hidden beneath the surface. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share our video. Until next time, goodbye.